What's up guys? So for those of you who watched my last video, you will know that I took my bumper off to be resprayed. I got the bumper back and I'm very happy with the results. It's looking really, really nice. So today I'm going to put it all back together and show you guys how I do that, as well as fit the new gloss black grill to the car, as well as the, um, the two bottom grills that I wrapped. Now I didn't do a video on wrapping those because considering the amount of views my videos actually get, it really wasn't worth the effort or the trouble to film that. So I didn't film that, but they are wrapped and they look very, very nice. And I'm gonna show you guys how I put everything back together and what the final results look like. So let's get to it. You guys are not gonna believe this, but when I took my car's R badge off the, the old grill to put it on the new grill, um, all the plastic behind the badge disintegrated and I had to buy completely new components. And the badge is made up of several components, one of which is the actual badge itself and one of which is this thing. And this thing just disintegrated at the back and uh, it's kind of pointless. Looking at my old badge, the green was actually coming off here on my old badge. So, you know, I, I had to get a new one anyway. But the cost of this badge, all these components together, cost me around $200. Now that's about 140 pounds. And I mean, this little thing in itself was close to $80, just this little bracket. I mean, you can get them for around $7 on AliExpress, but anyway, I thought I would grace my car with an original uh, Jaguar badge, and here it is. I've got the R badge on, and uh, this is the new grill that I'm gonna be fitting to the bumper. And what I did is I took the emblem of my old car, I took the emblem apart entirely because the Chromavia actually unclips and um, I just gave it a good clean up. There was a lot of dirt in these grooves over here so I just, you know, gave it a nice good scrub with a little brush and uh, everything is fitting really nicely now. And it has these two locating pins there so you, you really can't go wrong with uh, fitting it. I also put some double sided tape on the back. Uh, 3M to make it stick really well and this grill is ready to be popped on the car. I'm just going to clip it into the grill now and then I'm going to put all the screws in place. I've screwed the grill onto the bumper and I'm very happy with that. Happy with the fitment. It looks really really awesome these are all the components that make up the bottom grill so you know this would have been chrome and i've wrapped it in gloss black and these are the two components this component goes on the front of that and that i'm going to clip in once i have this clipped in to this this has to be clipped in from behind like that so we need to get the chrome piece on the car first. And once we get this clipped in, in place, we can then do this piece. On either side of this grill, there's a screw. And on my other video, I showed you guys I just Put some tape, put the screw back in the hole and just put some tape over it and that keeps the screws in place so we can screw it back on once the bumper comes back. So I'm going to get this clipped in now and then we just need to get this trim back on. And all I'm going to do now is just uh, screw in the two screws and then this thing is on the bumper. So now that I've got this nicely nestled in there, 
I can start getting my wiring loom back into its position. So these two things were on either side of this grill and they go in like that. I'm just putting that back in place. So I'm just going to get the grill on now and I must just get the two screws because I screwed them in here and I must just get them out. This cover is for the radar cruise control. Just get this clip back in place. There we go. And we can get this grill in its rightful position. So this is the other sensor that I told you guys about. There are three of them. And this one goes in the middle and then get the bolt in place. And here's the other sensor that goes on the left hand side. And it has a little locator over there which helps you locate it in the same position that it was when you took it off. And we just need to bolt those onto the bumper. So with that sensor in place, I just have to connect the other one. Your headlight washer system has a certain route that it's got to go and there's a plug over here where it plugs in. And then when you get the bumper on, you have to clip it in behind this clip over there and then it's going to route up towards the, the rest of the headlight washer system right there in the corner. I was going to replace my HID bulbs with LED bulbs, but for some reason I ordered D1S bulbs and I didn't order D3S bulbs. So just a tip, if you want to replace your headlight bulbs with LED they really just plug and play these days and if you get D3S LED bulbs and you've taken your bumper off for whatever reason then replace your headlight bulbs with LED at the same time. I don't have enough time to wait for a second order to arrive from Amazon. It's just going to take too long. It's been a week already now and I want to get my car back on the road. So that's something I may do in the future. I may have to remove the bumper entirely again, but I don't have to go through all this. But I may have to remove the bumper again in the future should I want to replace my bulbs with D3S. If I decide to do that, well then I'll do a video on that. Uh, it's really a simple procedure really, it's just plug and play. But here are our parking sensors. And this is a black one. So it goes on this corner over here. So to get this on, I'm just going to plug it in and it goes in this way and clips in quite gently and oddly the wire doesn't clip anywhere except over there but yeah, it is what it is. Currently the car is screaming at me when I start it and it tells me the park assist system is not available because, and the camera is also not available because it's sensing that there are parking sensors not currently attached to the car. There were three screws that are taped to them using this tape. So I know exactly which size screw goes with what. So you'll notice that this thing is angled and the angle, it's got an L on it, the L must be facing up. You can see there are your little jets and make sure you install it the right way up and that you don't install it with your jets you know facing the wrong way around because that will be uh yeah that'll be catastrophic there we go with that in place we can now just muscle this back through and make sure our cable our water cable is running in the right direction there's, you can see there's a groove here where it should be running in. Make sure it is there. And then just line up this screw over here. And there is a bit of tension on it, okay, because it's, it's going to be wanting to, to keep it, to keep this thing flush with your bumper. So 
you're going to have to just yank it back a little bit in order to get it in there. And I'm going to do the screw first on this side because it's the side with the most tension on it. Now I just have to get the bumper bracket back in place. Now remember when I took the bumper off there were these two locating pins and these are the pins that are attached to the bumper bracket. So something you just got to be careful of is these things are very floppy and they hang on a little thread of plastic. So just be careful with this bumper bracket um, because this bracket is where you have a main bolt to locate the bumper in place on the car. And then of course you have your big bolt that goes up here. I plugged the main loom in. I just want to see if my camera is working again and my parking sensors are working. I've started the car, my reverse camera is working again, my parking sensors are working, I'm not being screamed at. After you've done your electrical plug on the other side of the car, just make sure that you reconnect your headlight washer line to the feed line. So now I'm going to get the bumper back on the car and then I've got to get the under tray back on, in which case I actually have to lift the car. So that's it. I'm very happy with the results and uh, they're definitely what I wanted. And I'm going to pull the car out now and give you guys some beauty shots. Stay tuned to the end of the video for the subscriber ride and also stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching. Adios.